radical. So again, I don't know, it's in your homework, whichever. 17, 18. So now, again, we have this rule, so we know we can get it in the denominator, right? But we also need to have another rule for powers. If you have a rad, I'm sorry, radicals. If you have mth root of x to the n, that equals x to the m over n. This is not the first time I've written these down, guys. We need to make sure we know these. Okay? Make sure you guys have these written down if you're forgetting these. These are very, very important because we use them all the time. So in this case, I don't, this isn't very easy. And also, we need to understand that we have a base e here, right? So, and we want to be able to use this form. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to rewrite this as a rational power. I don't want to rewrite, I, don't, I want to get rid of the radicals. So that's ln of 1 over e to the 7 halves. Does everybody see how I rewrote that as e to the 7 halves? I just used an algebra 2. Just use the rules of exponent. Does everybody see that? Just using the rule of exponent. M. Oh, sorry. Ah, I wrote that wrong. Sorry. N over M. Now, I want to get this off the denominator. So I have ln of e to the negative 7 halves. Remember, that is a base e. So now, using this rule, my answer is negative 7 halves.